project we got going on uh, in this now bear with me this tutorial is a little bit longer <laughs> than the rest it's a good 20 plus minutes long but there is so much detail in this this project from doing it from scratch like this and not going over the top of a uh, you know of a styrofoam head to start out with it's a little bit tougher uh, there's a little more involved in it so it's a little more time consuming Anyway, in this video, um, what we've done is added facial features uh, like the jaw here, some of the cheek structures, the mouth and nose, things around the eyes, and this part of the hat itself. So in this video, it basically what's, what you're going to see is the process, how it worked, what I used to put the jaw on, how we got some of these features to start out with. And I tried to be as detailed as possible with it. It's tough to be detailed and it's tough to explain what I do as well. Also, I have to apologize. I wasn't feeling good the other day when I did the voiceover for it, so it's a little monotone, maybe boring, but just stick with it. Um, hopefully, this explains a lot on how I was able to accomplish this out of nothing but newspaper and tape. So, let's get to it. So, first things first, we're going to work on the jawline of this face and this joker's got a pretty big exagger exaggerated jaw and that's what we're going to start out with so to, to do this we're just going to take some very thin cardboard you're going to cut that cardboard into a jaw type of shape and attach it to your armature just spend some time here <clears throat> make sure you get this centered up with the face or the face structure of your armature <clears throat> step back a few times get a good look at it and just make sure it looks right to you once you're happy with the position of the jaw and the shape of it just take some masking tape and place it on the bottom side of the jaw from one side to the next and this will help keep and hold the shape as you go now what i'm doing here um it's not real important but it helps me i'm kind of running the center line down the face of this and then a line across where I plan on putting the eyes that way I can keep some proportion as I start adding more to it now that we got this jaw taped on here I want to create some kind of a muscle structure so you've got your jaw muscle there so simply just took and wadded up a small small piece of newspaper in like a teardrop shape I guess that's the best way to describe it and then attach that to the armature using masking tape. Now as this process goes, what you're gonna realize is we're really gonna be almost in a way sculpting with just newspaper and masking tape. Now I'm adding the newspaper to the jaw here just to help strengthen it. That way we don't move the jaw or distort it as we move on. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna add that pronounced cleft chin that this joker has. To do that, we're simply going to wad up a couple pieces of newspaper into a quarter size ball and tape them up. And then we're going to attach them to it. But before we do that, we're going to take some masking tape and go ahead and tape off the top side of this jaw as well. This gives us more strength and it gives us something else to add uh, more layers to later on. Once we get that all taped up, then the next step we're simply just going to take some hot glue put them on those two little balls we made and then just glue those into place. Now that we've got those glued into place we're going to take some more masking tape again and basically we're just going to blend these these two balls into the chin itself uh, so they're not so harsh and not so pronounced. You're really going to be using the tape here to like I said before we're, we're sculpting with it we're adding almost like a layer of skin something to make all these features we put on smooth in and blend in better with our overall sculpture that we're doing you'll notice as you do this you can really change the shape and features of your sculpture with just a little tape 
changing the angle of how the tape is running across something or coming back a different direction with your with your tape. I mean, you can add little features and details just with the tape itself before we ever get to mache. Now, I tend to work in layers. So the next thing I want to do is add basically my bottom gum line to this. So to do that, I'm taking a small piece of newspaper, wadding it up into um, like a worm shape. It, overall, it was about six inches long, and then tape that down rather tight with some masking tape. And once I got that tape down, I used my fingers and flattened it out a little bit, and then set it up here on the jaw, as you can see, to start creating the shape. Once I got the shape that I like that conformed best to the jaw itself, then we just attach it with a little hot glue. To get this gum line now to flow better with the structure, keep it as a uniform piece or look like one piece, once again we just take uh, some more masking tape, one strip at a time, and then we're going to tape over this entire gum line from front to back. This really helps create the flow of the structure. Now that the bottom side's done, we're going to move on to the top. Once again, thin cardboard, cut a piece that was about four inches long. We're going to tack it into place with a little hot glue and then begin sculpting it in like we did with the bottom side with our masking tape. Now that we got this top side with a good start, we'll move on to the nose. Just wad up a small piece of newspaper, make a small ball with it, tape it all up with masking tape as well, and we're going to glue, hot glue this into place. Now that we got our base nose into place, we're going to create the area that's going to house our eyes later on in this project. So to do this, we're going to draw out a template onto our face, and then we're going to come back through with an X-Acto knife and cut it out, basically. Um, down the sides here, what you see, and then along the bottom, we're going to cut all the way through the mache from each corner and then across the bottom, and we're going to cut all the way through. Now, on that top line, we're just going to score it. That way we can break this and push it back into our armature itself. So we don't want to cut all the way through, just enough that we can break it back and push it in, just like you see here. Now that we've got this hole into place, we'll take some masking tape and fill this in. This is just creating like an indention where these eyes eventually will go. And this helps create some depth within our face as well. Now that we have this spot in the place we'll work on the top side of her nose so all I did was wad, wad up a little bit of newspaper in kind of a cone shape taped it up and then I bent it into place where it bent in and went into that eye structure we just put in I tacked it in place with a little bit of hot glue and then once it was tacked into place once again using masking tape basically taped it into place and molded around it with the tape that way it had a nice flow to it now that we got the nose into place we're going to add in our cheek muscles and some definition here on the face so taking some newspaper and wadding it up into a small ball or almost a tear drop shape of a ball. Um, we're going to wad that ball up, tape it up, flatten it out some, conform it to the armature as close as we can where it has a natural feel to it as you put it up. And then we're going to take some hot glue and just tack those into place. Now once those are tacked into place, just like everything else, we'll be coming back with masking tape and going over these pieces we're putting on. And once again, we're using the masking tape to help sculpt and create the shape of the muscle to the face or these structures 
to the face as we go along. Again, the masking tape is really at this point a great sculpting tool. Once our cheek muscles are in the place, looking back at the picture itself for reference, we're going to create the, I don't even know what you really call them, the lines and definition around the mouth itself. Um, it's just basically more underlying muscle in the face. And to do that, we did it just like a jawline, wrapped up newspaper very tight, taped it up as tight as we could, and then glued it into place. Once these are glued into place like we have here, once again, we're going to go back to the masking tape and we're going to start taping them into place and using the masking tape to smooth it out and blend everything together. All right, so moving on now, we're going to create our eyebrow ridge here for this project. Just as we did everything else, a couple small pieces of newspaper taped up very tight into a worm shape. And then we'll take that piece of newspaper like you see here and start forming it to the head. We want to create an indention down here by the nose. We'll bring it up and make our bends and really you just are going to do this over and over again pulling it off bending it putting it back up until you get this shape for an eyebrow ridge now this is a mean looking eyebrow so we're bringing it down to the nose up and at a harsh angle bringing it down once you're happy with your overall shape you're going to take some hot glue glue it into place and then come back over it again like everything else with masking tape and flesh it in and smooth it in. As you can see here, that right side eyebrow is off. It doesn't look quite the same as the left side. So we're just going to cut that back out and change the position of it, glue it back into place, and retape it. As easy as that. Now both our eyebrows are just about the same from side to side. Our project looks great from the front right now. But, once I turn this thing, whoa, that's way off. It just really kind of looks flat on the back side. So we're going to real quick fix this problem. I'm going to wad up a nice chunk of newspaper here, conform it to the back of the head, and tape it into place. That's all we're really doing with this thing, is adding features, going back over it, looking at it, does it look out of proportion? Does it look right from all angles? What needs to change? When you find these areas that you need to change, all we're going to do is wad up some newspaper into a basic shape that we're trying to create and then add it back to the structure. Now that I've added these couple pieces of newspaper to the back side of the head, when you look at this thing from the side, it doesn't look so odd. It looks more of a human head shape and of course that's what we're going for here now there was another spot on the head over here that was driving me crazy it was just kind of big and out of proportion so i took a knife and cut a small piece out just to make it look a little bit better and then after that just added a little more meat up here to the eyebrows themselves Now that we got a good start here on the head, it's time to move on. I figured to 
work on some of the details of the Joker hat itself. So taking a clothes hanger, we just straightened it out completely from top to bottom, folded it in half, and cut it in half so we had two equal lengths. Now what we're working on here are these long, sagging protrusions, I don't, whatever you want to call them. It's just that key look to any Joker hat. And this is the structure that we're starting to work on right now. So taking those two pieces of clothes hanger, we're going to start adding newspaper to it. Just taping it to it, wadding it up tight, and then taping them into place. Very simple. Now that we got this first layer of newspaper taped to our clothes hanger, we're going to start adding the shape to these pieces of this hat. So to get the base shape of this, uh, very simple. We just took two water bottles and I cut them, cut the bottom off. I cut about a quarter of the bottom of this water bottle off and then kept the rest of the top. And this piece is what's going to be the base of these the base of these pieces for our joker hat. Slide that over, tape it into place, and then just take some newspaper and shove it down on the inside to add strength and also to try to help keep that um, piece of clothes hanger in the center. Once you've got it stuffed good and tight, then tape off the bottom side so that newspaper doesn't want to come back out. Now that the base is on, we're just going to take some more newspaper and start from the bot start from the bottle itself and work our way down the clothes hanger to give it a more uniform shape. Now once we get this taped into place with our one inch tape here, we're going to come back over with some two inch wide masking tape and we're going to tape the entire thing from top to bottom. Now we're going to do this twice, that way you've got two of these, one for each side. Once you get these things taped into place, you're just going to grab them and bend them with your hand. I didn't show you that part, but as you can see here, they're bent. You just take them and bend them into, into shape. That's all we have to do. It's very, very simple. Once I was looking at this and looking at the reference picture, I realized that there was more forehead showing <laughs> um, from the eyebrow ridge up until the actual hat set on the Joker's head. So... To get more forehead, we just took some more newspaper and applied it to the top of our structure. Just as simple as that. Just the same way as we did for the back side of the head to give it more of a human shape. As you can see here, that side was off, so add a little more newspaper right there on the forehead. Once we get the general shape of the top of the head in the place where you like it, we're going to find our spots here to position our hat pieces. So holding one of those hat pieces up and eyeballing it to where I thought it should sit on the head, we just took a marker and placed a little dot on it and marked it into place. Now this is just a pick and I'm just poking through the newspaper and tape and all the way through down to the armature so I'm creating a hole that way I've got something for those pieces of um, clothes hanger to slide into and uh, go to. And it may take a couple times like I did on this side, but eventually you can get it through where you can put those into place. Now once they're in the place, you may reshape them again, have a look at them, but once you're overall happy with it, we're going to tack these into place with a little bit of hot glue. We'll run some hot glue all the way around the bottom side where these pieces meet the head. Now that we got the hot glue in there, We'll come back with a little bit of newspaper here and just add it as filler. You're going to wrap it around it in nice and tight and then tape those into place. You're going to do the same thing for both sides. Once you have this filler in and it's taped up, then we're going to come back through with the masking tape and just really tape and secure the base of these to the head itself. We don't want this cracking or falling off later on. And this tape will help add some extra strength at the beginning of this. Finally, the base of our structure is now sculpted. 
So next step in this is we're just going to start adding our paper mache to it. Now instead of using newspaper on this, I am using blue shop towel, um, which you can get at Walmart. I'm using the shop towel to do this because there are so many harsh edges and there's so many different contours to this face that the shop towel, when it lays over all these contours, it doesn't wrinkle as harsh as newspaper would. And I didn't want all these edges and all these harsh protrusions coming out that you would get from standard newspaper. So that's why I went with the shop towel around the face. Just as in any other project, you're going to add one piece at a time, layer it over, move it to the next piece, and we're just going to cover everything that we've added onto this head so far. All these features we're going to cover with this shop towel just like we're doing standard paper mache with newspaper and again you're going to want to cover this three or four times so that you've got a good strong structure to work on as we go through the rest of this project i want to thank you guys for hanging in with me i know this has been a long tutorial but this is a big project it has a ton of detail in it and I'm just really trying to explain it to you as well as I can. Our next step coming up, we're going to be adding in more features like the eyes. We're going to be making teeth. We're going to be sculpting with clay and adding more muscle to it. And of course, more paper mache. Um, so I'll try to get the next one out to you next week. Uh, this will be a step-by-step -step process. This is just a big project, guys. So hang with me. We'll make it through it. And at the end of this, we're going to have one heck of a finished product on our hands this is going to be very cool thanks a lot and i'll see you guys next time